My name is Jen. I am from North Carolina, but I've spent the last seven years in Nashville, Tennessee. I moved there after I graduated from Berkeley in 2008. And so I came to Atlanta about a year ago to start my very own Notes for Notes branch here in Atlanta. Uh, we've been going since July 18th of last year. Very successful, got 160 members, and um, yeah, just started our fall semester today. Notes for Notes is a nonprofit organization. We provide free access to an after school recording studio for youth ages 5 to 20. Uh, we provide instruction, album production, and artist industry visits, and so much more. Basically, a youth walks in, I say, what would you like to do with music? And whatever they say, it's my job to facilitate that. I personally teach drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, tracking engineering, and a little business. Uh, I have volunteers that teach vocals and a volunteer that teaches violin. I'm currently seeking brass, if anyone wants to hit me up for that. We are located in the Joseph B. Whitehead Boys and Girls Club on the southeast neighborhood of Atlanta, right across from the Lakewood Amphitheater. There are, at the end of this year, we'll have 22 locations across the country in America with Notes for Notes. Right now, we're up to 16, so we got a lot of work to do between now and December. So our founder and fearless leader is Phil Gilly. He moved to Santa Barbara uh, to be a filmmaker. Um, and he, he entered the Big Brother program where he mentored a youth, I forget how old the youth was, but uh, the child wanted to learn drums, so he would go to the local music store and buy a cable and give a quick drum lesson on their kit before they shoot him away, and he decided there was a need for this, and so he started the first two Notes for Notes in Santa Barbara before moving to Nashville and starting the third. That's where me and Phil met about four and a half years ago, so I was his, roughly his second or third employee. I love working with the Boys and Girls Club, um, especially this one. The communication is great. Uh, we all have a similar vision. You know, there's millions of youth in Atlanta, and so we don't have this mindset where it's competition. We have a collaborative mindset, and it's working out great. Um, anything, most of what I need, they facilitate and vice versa. I'm always there if they need an extra person in their arts program. Uh, we work with each other, and it's just been fantastic thus far. To get involved in Notes for Notes, you just got to stop by and see me or anyone, stop by any of our locations across the country. Uh, your first visit, come on in, check it out, see what you think. Your second visit, we do ask that you sign up for the Boys and Girls Club uh, and we'll have you sign one of our papers as well. Tell us what you want to do, we'll assign you time and then you just come in on a weekly basis and uh, work on your project, whatever that may be. They can record any genre here. I would say the most that I do is rap and hip hop, um, probably second would be drums, live drum set. I have guitar students, keyboard students, and I have a lot of people interested in EDM. Um, I have a few vocalists and one country artist, so it's all across the board. There's no limitations. We don't censor lyrics. You can say whatever you want in here. Um, it's great because there's, it builds this atmosphere of trust, and uh, we can use this trust and uh, guide and use it as a mentorship we can guide their decision making and help them make positive decisions and it's cool because music is the catalyst for that. We do not like to use the studio as a metaphorical carrot. <laughs> we think that we can um, use the studio to enhance different subjects. For example, um, I had youth in Nashville that were struggling in science and so we used that popular song. How did it... It wasn't a Kanye song, it was some other song but we took the tune and rearranged the lyrics so that it was about mitosis. And they remembered the entire process of mitosis through this popular song that we borrowed the melody from. Um, so, you know, we like to work along with the schools. We don't like to work against the schools and we don't like to punish, per se. They're free to do anything with the music that they make in here. Um, we don't take any credit. Uh, I mean, we promote their music on our socials, but we don't own a percentage of that music. We don't take revenue from that music. Um, the youth own 100% of their masters. They can do whatever they want with it. We will help you set up your socials. Uh, we'll, we'll show you and help you how to get gigs. Um, I can show you how to write a proper email to record labels, to management, to PR. Um, if, like for instance, Wayford is one of my youth here today, um, I've shown him everything from, you know, approaching labels to getting shows uh, he's, and it's worked out, he's open for pretty big names. He opened for Nick Jonas, Demi Lovato, Fetty Wap, Yo Gotti, um, a bunch of people. I, I can't even remember everybody, but on the business side, that's what I majored in, and so I'm totally comfortable helping you with that aspect as well. Um, and I'm not pushy. 
you know, there's, I have some youth that don't want to do anything with their music. You know, like uh, one of my youth, D'Angelo, he just likes to streamline his thoughts and organize himself and get himself focused through his music, which is fine. Uh, we had somebody interested in him and he declined that offer. Um, and so it's totally up to the youth. Um, I'm not pushy, whatever they want to do. I'm, ha I'm here to help and I'm happy to help. We are open from noon until 7 p.m. during the school year. And during the summer, we're open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. CMA, shout out to CMA. CMA provides this entire space. So thank you.